Hey guys, so before today's video starts, I do want to quickly explain. I have ultimately decided to postpone Cozumel until a later date. It does not mean I'm not doing it. It just means that I've kind of lost interest in the project. So And all, additionally, American have just announced cut pack, cutbacks out of Cozumel. So really there's not many airlines there and it's not a very prominent airport at the moment. So I've ultimately made the decision to postpone the airport. Probably until after COVID when it starts to recover and it's there's much more flights. So, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that at the start of this video because this video does have something to do with that fact. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we answer the question, why have I been buying so many United models? And that does indeed mean the revealing of the mystery project. So obviously, I've been calling it the mystery product project. I've been hinting at it. I've just been, I've been buying lots of United models and lots of models that I don't need for Lexington. And yes, it is an airport project. So, Here's the big reveal. From now on, it will no longer be known as the Mystery Project, but Project Liberty. And if you can't already tell what that means, that does indeed mean the next airport I will be building is Newark Liberty International Airport. This is a huge project that I have been planning for months, uh, ever since I started hinting at it back in like May. I ultimately decided to do this airport for a few reasons. So the first being I wanted to do a United Hub. So I was just looking for a good United Hub that was unique that not a lot of people were doing and I came across Newark and I was just like, okay, I'll build this. And But after months of checking Flight Radar 24 on Newark almost every day, uh, I've actually grown to like learn some of the routes and it's I've grown like kind of attached to the airport. It's become like an awesome airport to me. And I've really started to enjoy uh, checking flights and and I think Newark's a really awesome airport. So that gives me even more reason to build it. So this is the official announcement for it. That is why all the United models I have been buying are going to. So when will this happen? Well, uh, I have not actually started working on it yet, but I do plan to in the next few weeks. And I plan to get a lot of done wor work done it over Christmas break as I don't have any school. So uh, I expect it, it, it will be at least springtime before the at, at, before it actually is finished because obviously this is a huge international airport and I'm not going to just be building like a tiny piece of it. Uh, Newark consists of three terminals, each with three concourses. I will be building all three terminals, although I have sized it down to two concourses, but it'll still be all the same flights. That's just because lots of the gates are, all, are empty a lot, so it makes a lot more sense just to not waste as much money to build ju just to build gates that you're going to be leaving empty in the first place but I will be covering all the flights the only thing I don't really have for the airport yet is JetBlue uh, but I did get that one JetBlue model that I have I, and I am always looking for more the problem with that is they're very rare so I I do hope Gemini does release a few more JetBlue have been dropping lots of new tails for all their aircraft including their new A220 which just uh, was rolled out of the factory a few weeks ago so uh, I will be trying to get more JetBlue aircraft because they do have a focus city at Newark and then obviously United do have their second largest hub at Newark. So this is a big challenge but uh, I am up to it. I'm up to put lots of work in on this airport and I think this will be such an awesome project and I am extremely excited and I hope you all are very excited as well. So yes, that is the announcement video. If you did enjoy this video and you do want to see more of this new airport project, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. What do you think about this? What do you, what, what overall are your thoughts on this whole idea as a whole? So yes, I may do kind of, uh, monthly updates on how I'm doing. I didn't do that with Lexington because I didn't really think to and I had already done most of the work on Lexington by the time the thought came into my head. But tell me down below if you do want that. So anyway everyone, I do hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you later. Bye!